Hey everyone, it's Candy Vin the Gadget God doing another video for Geek Insider and today I'm going to do a tutorial on Apple TV. Now this is actually the Apple TV 3. It's the newest one. The model number is MD199LL-A and the difference with the newest one is that it supports 1080p. It also has a faster processor, an A5 Apple processor in it. Um, on the back of the device there's an HDMI port, a micro USB port, an optical audio port, an Ethernet port, an IR receiver that uses the Apple remote or any other IR blasting remote, um, and also an Ethernet port if I didn't say that already. It comes with a power cable and the Apple remote. This is actually the Apple remote right here. You can see it's very small, very thin, very light fits in your hand super well. So we're going to give you a tutorial on what features it has as well as how to use AirPlay. So as you can see here, these are all the apps that are on it. Podcasts will sync with your iTunes account. Bring all your podcasts over here. Photo Stream is on iPhones, iPads, and Macs. You can share your photos to the cloud. Netflix. And then these are the normal Apple movie stores. TV shows, movies, music, anything that you've purchased in iTunes and then you log in with your account and settings will be here. So under settings you have general, this is where your meat and potatoes are. Remotes, you can actually sync um, an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod Touch, iPod Mini, sorry, iPad Mini um, and use those as remotes as well with a free app called Remote update software, different things like that. You push the menu button on the remote to back out. Screen saver, you can choose a handsome screen saver. I have the National Geographic's Animals 1, so if you leave the device idle for a set amount of time, mine's five minutes, it does a nice little picture show for you depending on which of these screen savers you choose. So. Um, if you don't have a screensaver on your TV, this is a nice way to have some nice images floating on your TV if you're having a party or something. Um, it also has trailers or your photo stream as well. So that's screensaver, iTunes Store, sign in with your account, audio and video are settings for that, AirPlay settings, computers that link up with it, and Sleep Now will make it go into an ultra low power mode. Push any button on the remote, like I just did and it comes right back on. It's actually a picture of the Apple TV right there. So you can see it's tiny. It's actually only four inches across and four inches the other direction. So it's super, super tiny. Home sharing, so you can share with your computers, have any media that's on them show up on your television. And then again, these are just renting or buying from the iTunes store. You can see we got some sports apps on here as well. It pretty much covers anything that you would definitely need. Now I want to show you um, how to do AirPlay. I'll show you first on an iPhone. So we can see here we have my iPhone in the front. I'm just going to zoom in on it. Now this is how you do AirPlay on an iPhone. We'll play a video for example. And it will recognize if you're on the same Wi-Fi network this little symbol appears here. It looks like a TV with an arrow. Touch that. There's my Apple TV 3. It recognizes it automatically. I chose that. And you can see in the background, it's loading. Native Smart PC. And if you look at this model number here. And now it's playing on my television. So um, any video, any music, podcasts, you do that and it'll show up on your television. We're going to pause it, put it back on the iPhone. And you can see it's seamless and it's simple. Um, say you want to go to the next level though and you want to show everything on your iPhone, on your TV. If you double tap the home button, it brings up the multitasking menu. Go all the way to the left and there's that same TV button. So I can choose the Apple TV 3. Now with mirroring off, it's going to wait for some sort of media. Um, a video, music, and then it'll play it on the TV automatically. If you choose mirroring, it'll show exactly what's on your device on the same time mirrored on the TV. So if I go sideways with it, 
Oh, let me back out of this and go into something that I can go sideways with. So if I go sideways with it, let me just back out of the video. Oops. So if you go sideways with it, now it's showing whatever you have in real time on the TV. So that's what mirroring is. And then I'll show you what mirroring looks like on an iPad. So first I'm going to want to go back to this little multitask menu, put it back on the phone. So now it's done with that. You can't mirror two things at the same time. You have to switch off. And now let me show you what mirroring looks like or how to do it on an iPad. So here's the iPad. It's the same thing if you're playing a YouTube video. Then it's the same thing. If you play the actual video, then you get that little button down there to throw it up on your TV. You can see in the background, it's throwing it up on the TV now. And it says here that logo indicates that it's playing on the TV. You can still control its speed and everything. And then what we'll do is we'll put it back on the iPad. We'll quit out of YouTube. Um, and to mirror it, you double tap the home button again. And that's where the AirPlay logo is. Right there next to the skip song. We'll choose Apple TV 3. And now it's set to um, just play any media. But if we turn mirroring on, and let me close that little menu, you are now showing your iPad on the television screen. Pretty insane, huh? So anything you're doing on here, um, if you're playing a game, that game's going to show up on your television, you're now playing on the television. So in a way, it makes an iPad or an iPhone really into a home console, uh, mirroring the image on the television for others to enjoy with you. And then one last thing I'll show you is the remote app. Now this is the free app. Um, I don't need to hold my iPad up since it's showing what I'm doing. This is the free app that will allow you to use any iOS device as a remote controller. So um, here if I touch this arrow logo, I'm now using it as an actual touch controller. So this is swiping. Now I don't need to be sharing this. Let's actually um, not mirror the image. It gives you a better idea of what this does. So here if I swipe sideways, you can see it moves the box up and down um, and then there's the menu button the play button and if I tap I select so um, let's go to settings and I'll select settings and you can see you can now use your phone or your tablet to control the Apple TV as well so it's really very slick very impressive um, if you have any questions or comments below please please ask I'll be very happy to answer them Apple TV is a great device, a perfect companion for an iPhone or an iPad, iPod Touch, iPad Mini. Um, and if you have one of the newer Macs with a Retina display, you can actually AirPlay the image from your Mac wirelessly to your Apple TV. Um, I don't have one here right now, so I can't show you that functionality, but that is only in the newer Macs, the newest I should say. And it's just another slick feature. So if you have any Apple devices that you love, get yourself an Apple TV. The retail price is $100. Comes with a power cable and that little silver remote I showed you earlier. It's just a perfect companion device for any other Apple accessory. So, um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.